Adjusting cell format. We can adjust cell formats uh, from the ribbon. So when I click in a particular cell, uh, I get the ribbon, contextual ribbon bar will come up. And one of the things I can change is the data format. So I'm going to select all these quantities. If I go to the data format, it's on general. General is the default value. It's kind of like it tries to be like both text and, and data. It's for alphanumerical. But since these are all whole numbers or quantity, they're not going to be one and a half quantities, we're going to set it to whole number. Likewise, if I go over to my material, I go to my data format, my material is uh, really going to be text. So I want to set that to text. Uh, and if I go over to my mark, for example, my marks, my data format, it's a whole number again. So we want to make sure the type matches of what we're putting in. All right. Also, uh, we can lock certain things. So if I'm over here and I want to lock down my marks so nobody changes them, I highlight them and then I can come up to cell locking and I can I can lock the content or I can lock the format or I can lock them both and I'm gonna lock in my case the content and I'm gonna lock the content so now when I'm coming over here I double click in here I get a little lock and the hasp is closed I know I can't change it then so then I have to come up in force it to be unlocked in order to change it. So you want to do that when there's some critical cell information in there that you want to protect. And if I want to get rid of all the overrides and go back to the table properties, I could just highlight everything, right? I can right click and in here it says remove all property overrides. When I remove all property overrides, it goes back to the way the table style is set up uh, by default. And uh, so if you want to come back to its, uh, its roots, there you are. You can go into remove all property overrides by right clicking. So that's how we adjust our cell format.